All right, that did pretty good. One over there, it's a little thinner than I want it, but. All right, here's another one. I'm gonna have to change tapes here in a minute, just about the end of this tape. I'm actually pressure flaking a lot of these platforms into this thing. Went pretty good. Take one off here and here next. All right, here's the next one, and as you can see, it's pretty close to the center line. The mask that I want to remove is right over in here, so that's why I want the platform somewhat closer to the center line. If the mask was further over in this direction, the platform would go in this direction, in other words, closer to this face. So as the mask that you want to remove shifts over and gets closer to this edge, the platform needs to get closer to the center line. It's kind of like they go together. As this pulls back over here, the mass should be over here. As the mass starts getting down here, the platform should shift in that direction. Hope that makes sense. I'll go over that again later in another tape, but I just need the flake to come over here and kind of lower this area. Here's the next one, just a little bit below center because most of the mass that I want to remove is right over in this area right here. When I say below center, I mean closer to the face that I'm removing the flake from. This won't be a real big flake, but it should go halfway or so. Okay, that worked nice. All right, two more platforms set up on removing from this face here. One over here and one over here. And if I was to try and drive this off, which I was going to do, I thought it might possibly dive down there and create a little bit of a hinge if it goes all the way, and I think it will. So what I'll do first is remove this one. Hopefully it'll stop right about there, then come back over and drive that one off. So here's the first one. It's just going to be a short one here. So I'm just pretty much hitting down here. I'm not trying to drive it way in. Actually went a little further than I thought. Now we'll flip it over and run this one to come back and meet it. And hopefully we'll get a, a nice looking pattern that way. Should go right over there like that. Sometimes you need to rub that like that and get any possible flakes that are in that little notch because they'll collapse that platform in a heartbeat. Alright. Came out pretty good. Well, I've been studying this thing since that last flake removal, and uh, basically it's pretty straight. And it's pretty, uh, pretty flat, fairly thin. What I need to do now is shape it, and I'm just going to do that with uh, percussion. So I'll show a little bit of that, but I want to take my time and do it right. And that's basically just short, steep little flakes for the most part. When I need to do a longer flake, I'm going to do it with a punch because it seems to be working better for me. This stuff is pretty, pretty tough, even though it wasn't really heat treated to a high temperature. I'm just going to go around here, and straighten it up. I like this white tail billet because it's it's pretty hard. It's more like using a uh, like a copper bopper. 
I use that uh, that larger moose one there. A lot of guys do it. That works fine, but for me it tends to bounce off a lot. Of course, I'm not really braiding these platforms. This edge, of course, is getting thicker and thicker, so I'll need to remove some thinning flakes as we move along here. Probably run away here. So I'll do that. I'll set up a couple here, drive off a couple thinning flakes in there, get that edge thinned down. All right, there's the next one. And I need to drive it clear over in here. It's kind of close to the center line, but I need a thicker flake in order to get it to go over there. And uh, we'll see how that does. I'm going to have to hit it pretty hard. I'm pressing in pretty hard on this one. I'm going to lower that platform a little bit. I don't want to break the darn thing at this point. That'll help it release a lot easier. Okay. There's the flick. So that worked out good. Here's the next one. Just a small flake. I don't want to aim it over here, it'll hinge. So we'll just drive it right into that one. Not going very far. right into that one perfect. Now I can come over here and get that one. Alright, it's down to the point now. Uh, it definitely has some shaping that I need to do, but uh, as far as the thinness of it, it's just fine. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and shape it a little bit, and then we'll pressure flake it with an outler and uh, call it good enough. I'm just taking short, steep flakes here. trying to thin it.